Hey, Good Fox here. Today we're doing some draft champions. Here's the team that me and Obama drafted together. I'll link that video in the description so you guys can check uh, our time together. But I just wanted to go through some uh, frustrations and some gameplay here in draft champions. And I know I've, I've, I've put up videos before. Let's talk first about the competitive scene in draft champions. And I did something on Will Madden become an eSport uh, type uh, video on this. So I've talked about this before. If people have seen that. I'll link that video in the description too. But Draft Champions, as you guys have seen, um, has the EA sponsored as the competitive mode for Madden, good or bad. And I, I for one, do not think it should be the competitive mode for Madden um, because it is not Madden played at its highest level. People are unfamiliar with the playbooks. The players aren't great, so we get a nice pick there. And this is a frustration first off the bat uh, is how quickly people quit on you. But, I mean, that's a free win, whatever. It, uh, it happens in every mode. Um, so that isn't something to be too angry about, but, it, it, and another thing with draft champions, if you get a poor team, there's no real, uh, besides for the ranked draft champions to quit out, there's no real disincentive to quit, quit out right away to get back, to get like a, a, a team with 10 elite rounds or something, or just wait for it basically. Um, because there's no punishment there. Like with the ranked draft champions, I think they're going in the right direction there by requiring some sort of buy-in for it. So you don't have to face like stacked teams all the time. Uh, but, I mean, in general, ranked draft champions, you know, the offenses are simplified. There aren't as many nanos because there aren't as many fast players, and that's pretty cool with it. Uh, but for competitive Madden, I don't love it. Ooh, I, I thought I was going to get that jump right there to get that pick. But um, he runs toss. With competitive Madden, I wish there was a mode, um, and this is, again, something I've talked about before, that uh, basically allowed us to, like, draft our team like Draft Kings and then ch pick your playbook. I think not having your playbook is the biggest frustration I have with draft champions here. Having to try random up. Of course, people don't have money plays, but money plays are, aren't are as effective without the mutt players in them um, because basically the money plays this year are four verticals and inside zone, even in mutt. Uh, EA did a good job taking out, you know, PA end arounds from past Maddens, and uh, it, so offenses are kind of basic this year, and defenses are where you see the elaborate schemes and the things that really take advantage of the AI, although the four verts cheese. And this is probably my biggest gripe with draft champions is going to happen right here. There it is. Pause glitches and uh, freezes. This isn't really a pause glitch. I've had pause glitches happen to me earlier in the year, but this freeze, about one in four games of draft champions, freezes on me. And that's a huge frustration. Why is it happening to draft champions but not in mutt? There's something with the coding in Draft Champions that freezes it more often than Mutt, and we don't know why. EA, hopefully, uh, is coming out with a patch on it. Um, not really sure if they've done anything on it, uh, but I could tell just by... by I put out a pause glitch video early in the year um, as my opponent goes deep, but we get the undercut, and there's over 100 hits on the video a day, um, a lot of days, of people looking up pause glitch, and uh, this uh, thing on draft champions here, where it freezes on you, and and that's another thing. Like I could, here's a tip for you guys if you haven't seen this. You can tell it's a fake if the play art comes up on a punt. So then you're audible to like cover two man. Um, that's how you tell if it's a fake on a punt. So don't run fake punts because most good players will know that you're running it. And uh, as we get Jamal Charles's speed to the end zone. But yeah, so there's over. I mean, there's a lot of people. And a lot of frustration in the comments of that video of um, pause glitching. And right there, you know, Draft Champions, it does add an extra element of gameplay, you know. It's like kind of like real football with stars basically uh, making plays for you over regular, um, how do you say, NFL players. I mean, I know regular NFL players are still like uh, you know, some of the best athletes in the world. But in this game and in the NFL, these stars really make a difference. So like... If you have a wide receiver here in Draft Champions, and this isn't really a negative, although a lot of people see it as one, the aggressive catch. Like, so if they have Herman Moore, like I have Herman Moore here. I haven't gone to him over the top this game. I could. He's a threat. He's something that, as I, I misplay the out route and I throw it too early, or the corner route. I thought I had this game in the bag um, until I threw that corner route. And uh, throw into, so Herman Moore will have to be covered uh, two on one basically the whole game. Unless you want a guy going over the top to you over the top on you because silver corners cannot cover him and miss and mismatches are something that are taken advantage in the NFL all the time as he is threatening my goal line he hit the halfback toss earlier so I knew to come out I blitz my cornerback 
on that side to counter his halfback toss that I knew he he scored earlier on. So, but he takes the three points. So seven three. It's a pretty good game so far. That corner out really screwed me. My offense felt good. His inside zone defense is good. Jamal Charles is pretty shut down. Four rushes for eleven yards ain't great. Larry Walford gets tackled right away. If you guys remember my uh, last video with Barack, I, uh, Larry Walford made a hell of a play rejecting uh, like five blockers. There's Herman Moore not making a play for me, unfortunately, as we send some heat and his offensive line isn't able to pick it up somehow. So went two man under. He runs deep, and uh, that is something that you're going to have to watch out for every play. I even ran two man under that play. Uh, his receiver got off the press, and then my safety didn't have a play. And that's why safeties are so important in draft champions. You need somebody to cover over the top smartly for you. And why I always recommend taking four defensive backs, two corners, two safeties, because safeties also help in run support as much as linebackers do. But linebackers oftentimes get blocked. Here we go, Herman Moore. Still not making plays for me, strangely enough. This is like the first game that I've had Herman Moore that he hasn't been just an absolute beast. We go to Jarvis Landry there, gold wide receiver, and he doesn't do anything for me. Um, we get the nice little uh, outside pressure there. Vic Beasley, silver stud in this mode uh, as he goes to the toss. But yeah, uh, what are your guys' frustrations with draft champions? Are they similar to mine? What, what are your feelings on uh, the simplified offenses, the the stars taking advantage of silver players? It's uh, Do you think it's well-balanced? Like some guys getting drafts that are insane versus you. If Do you play them out or do you guys quit right away in your drafts as we run a little nice um, – Halfback motion routes there to the flats. Um, yeah, uh, his defensive back is a knockdown. So we're struggling on offense. We had to punt it right away. 10-7. Um, As you can tell by the length of this video, it doesn't go on too much longer. And this this game ended up being a real barn burner at the end here, those last couple quarters. I just want to say ahead of time, uh, this is another frustration, but not with draft champions. My recording software went off on me, um, so I didn't record the end of the game, but it was basically a top, like, and then I rage, uh, so I rage uh, deleted the first recording of Draft Champions, I forgot to mention this earlier, I should have mentioned this, but I got I got another pause glitch before that, not pause glitch, but a freeze before that first game, um, I played in the thing, and I, I should have mentioned it at the beginning of the video, but I didn't, but here it is, this is the last play before my freaking uh, computer didn't record the end of it. So it was just a frustrating day in Draft Champions overall. Uh, but thanks for watching. Sorry for the complain fest. But sometimes Madden just frustrates you. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.